All right, guys, hot off the heel uh, from yesterday in the trapper hooks, we're gonna do the mushroom buckeye mushroom finesse jigs here. I've never really had much luck with finesse jigs. I don't know why. I guess I haven't really put a lot of time in them. But I mean, if the Ned rig works theoretically, the uh, the finesse jigs should work. So uh, we'll tie a couple on, and uh, you know, give you the old review of the buckeye finesse uh, mushroom jig here. Coming up. trying here because uh you know it could just be a bad I mean, these hooks are garbage obviously they're not worth anything another one same hit that guy got it a little small mouth there we go like one in six here but you know Sometimes you just get a lack like of bad luck here. A string of bad luck. So let's keep on rocking. Hopefully you caught that on. I lifted it up and it literally just like came out. That's my fault. I should have netted that. I had no business lifting a lot like that. But still, that 100% that's operator air. Should have netted him. Still, he, st he stayed pinned for, you know, I don't have a problem with that guy. Staying. That's all me. All my, all my fault. 100%. Sometimes you just catch, you know, you're like, nah, Jack. This is a little small. Eh? No rock bass. Sometimes you just catch, you know, like, I don't really care if I land a two pounder, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm not in a tournament setting, it's just caught so many of them. That was probably two and three quarters. Like, that was a good fish. Alright. So, we'll call, count that one as landing. I should have just netted it. Um,. So we're, then we caught the rock bass, because at this point we're just talking about landing fish. 
three and like nine or something. is cool I guess. Molly. Oh, sorry, buddy. There we go. There we go. 10, 11 inch smallmouth here. There we go. Seem to have better luck now that I've cut out the, uh, cut off an inch and a half, inch and a quarter off of the, the hula stick. All right. Get a few more, wrap this video up. A few more good hookups here. Micro fish for my micro jig. There we go. Feels like a decent one. He's feisty. He's feisty. Oh man, look at him go. Feels like a largy. He's jumping like a smully. Oh, he is a largy. Alright. Oh, dude. Getting hit with the boat waves. Alrighty. There we go. A little 12 incher. Go so you can become five pounds. Become a five pounder. Seems I have a decent hookup ratio. 
anything. Okay. May take the weed guards off. Can't really do a whole lot. You know, you're throwing around rock anyways. If anything, it might just hurt the hookup ratio. But uh, let's catch one or two more. And, you know, it's uh, not a bad finesse lure. It's for the price, it's definitely cheaper than. Uh, it's definitely cheaper than. Uh, Lots of little smallmouth. It's definitely cheaper than the uh, the tungsten one. Uh, I especially I didn't really care for the tungsten. Uh, the tungsten micro finesse jig. Uh, that one was like basically I can get four of these jigs for the tungsten uh, high tech tungsten jigs. And I kind of like these ones better anyways. They seem to be more productive. I don't land 100% of the fishing. I hope, but overall, okay.